welcome to my youtube channel my name is faith Carrero, and i have been m i a for like a month so i started a youtube channel and then i made two videos and then i got sick i literally lost my voice i'm just getting it back like i've been trying to get it back from that rainy weather that rained so much last year in 2019 so straight on into 2020 i hope you guys have had a lovely beginning of this year because i have and uh i'm going to be so consistent and try to be consistent with the videos starting from next week yeah from this week if you're watching this video so it's this week so yeah and as a title of this video suggests yeah we're going to design skirts i'm designing skirts and the skirts I'm, I'm the skirts I'm designing are for this spaghetti top. This is a simple spark top, black, and the kind of top I want, the kind of skirts I want to design for the spaghetti top are like um, I'm going with a straight fitting silhouette, just something simple, but a bit retro i'm a bougie so i have fabrics so we're going to make two skirts and then two skirts i'm going to use from previously made skirts i'm going to style using previously made skirts do you get me like i need four skirts so we design two and sew them and then two already two already designed and so like i've already had them worn them before so with me i'm holding the first fabric this it has a gold tone. I think I bought it in, yeah, it's one and a half. The interior is also fancy. The back side of it looks like this. I think you can use it on either side or you can use it on this side. So, I'm, I'll, I'd prefer to use it on the golden side. It has like a gold shade. I'd prefer to use it on this golden side. And I bought uh I bought it in a meter and a half. It was quite pricey, so I did what I could. My initial plan was to have it in a skirt, but I think not a skirt, a dress, but I think a skirt will do too. And the thing about this fabric, what I love about it is it's dense, it's dense, it's thick. It stands like the grams per square meters are awesome so it would be nice for a design that requires structure because this will bring out such a nice structure and it goes quite well with the black how do i put it this way yeah it goes quite well with the black so the second fabric for the second skirt is this polka dot this polka dot, I just like it. Don't you like it? It is a simple polka dot. It's a bit light, but it's like it's heavy chiffon. Yes, that's the name. It's heavy chiffon. And yeah, I bought so much of it. I bought it. I bought three meters of this. I bought it in three meters because my initial plan was to make a nice dress for myself. Prefer probably long <laughs> preferably long so yeah uh i think it will do a skirt and still i'll have fabric for it will remain for a dress maybe a nice cute short dress so that's the second fabric so the first the polka dot will go quite well so the thing is the other two fab the other two skirts that i already have made actually one i made this year and that one i made in 2019 and the other one i made like in 2017 but they both will go quite well with this uh spark top so basically that's it i've brought you into what i'm designing for the skirts i'm designing so i think the next step is sketching them and I would love, love, love to sketch them with you. 
so guys when I'm sketching I will start with the basic body sketch of the illustration just how she's gonna stand then on I add on the hair the skirt the outfit for me the skirt is asymmetrical the hemline is above the knee on one side and below the knee on the other side and I've added two front bindings around the hips just to emphasize the silhouette I've done her hair and here I have outlined using a 0.05 millimeter tape pen by Faber Castell it does the best work um, after outlining I always erase the pencil marks leaving me with a clean sketch of the illustration and now it's time to do the skin color so for the skin I use pens by markers sorry I buy them from the Tusky supermarket they come in a shade of three they are called scratch markers they are used to uh, color in your tables in case they get scratch marks and you can just blend them in back to normal color so they come in a set of three and for this skin tone I'm using the lightest shade of brown in that set of three to shade the skin so here I have the full skin shaded in but it just looks flat it has no contours it has no depth so I always I'll show you how, how what I do later on that so pardon my head is still is so into the camera but yeah so in that set of three pens I use the second darker shade to lay down the skirts and the tone so I'm using the second shade of brown just to color in the skirt These markers are quite affordable. They range from, I think, between 200 to 300 Kenyan shillings at the supermarket. Task is that is. Now, once we've done our skirt, it's time to render it to put in the print, the floral print. And as you can see, the fabric has black flowers. So we, I've started doing that on the skirt already. So we're going to make the same flowers onto our sketch. And I have started and since it's so detailed I'm going to have my head so into the camera that let me do this off camera and then come back to you later and this is the finished skirt with a print as you can see this print on the fabric matches the print on our sketch right here it's quite it's quite nice it's come out so nice it's come out so nice so the next thing I'm going to do is add front the uh, thick lines to mark the front bindings as I showed you and I'm using a 0 0.5 thick tip pen to do that and the bindings will start from my waistline down to where my ruffles start uh, mind you my skirt does not have a waistband I'm doing a skirt with no waistband it always looks so luxurious without a waistband so yeah the two front bindings the next thing i'm gonna do is the hair so since this illustration is an illustration of me i'm guessing by the time i'm um, filming this video or haul you're going to see me in braids that's just a guess i'm not sure and yeah at the beginning of this video you saw me shading the spaghetti top and now I'm just showing you how I finished it off with a black pen, black marker pen, also 0.5 uh, millimeters thick tip just to be clear. That does help me not to shade in parts that are not supposed to be shaded in. And because the shoes are also black, I have black sandals chunky sandals that I'm gonna wear with that skirt let me just shade in the shoes
and now we have our sketch almost done so the remaining part of this sketch is the skin the skin is so flat so pale she has no contours so we're going to add that to her skin just to give her life and I use I do that using a brown pencil marker coloring pencil to just shade in the darker parts of the skin and bring out that life in into that so we shade in the collarbones the neckline just below your chin, the chin just to show the depth of the neck this gives so much life to the sketch mind you I am not pressing my pencil my coloring pencil I'm just lightly shading it in and this fabric you guys I am obsessed with this fabric it's so gorgeous it's so thick I'm just in love with this fabric and like I told you before it it's a two-sided fabric like you can use the black side the part of the black side and you can use the golden side I'm going to use the golden side but one day I'm gonna use the black side to do something it's also so so nice and I like it because it's thick therefore you can do a structural outfit if you're looking for a fabric that can do a good structure this is it So our sketch is finished and I've added a dark lip. This her shoes or my shoes have a gold gold detailed strap at the ankles and that's why I have sketched this with the same golden detail at the ankle. Also, my skirt is going I'm going to sew it asymmetrical such that the hemline is asymmetrical one side is above the knee line my knees and one side is below the knees and with that ruffle detail all round it's going to look so nice so the ruffle detail is going to be all round the hemline and it's gonna have the two front bindings to just to emphasize the fitting silhouette and the figure of the skirt I think that would be such a nice detail to the skirt on, my, on her face I've done simple makeup with a dark burgundy lip and, a star, and studs for her ear accessories no chains and with a dance sketch what I do next is I cut the paper it's storing it so I cut the paper into two since I sketched it on an A3 I cut it into two so that it can resize into an A4 size since my display book or my storage book is an A4 and of course I need to sign out I must always sign out on all fashion illustrations and I do that I do and also if possible I do write the date I did that illustration at the back of the illustration so this is the illustration finally done guys and I think it's come out quite well the next thing is I'm gonna cut a swatch of the fabric that I'm gonna make the skirt with just to know when I'm going through my folder I know what goes where I know this sketch is for a certain fabric but I can always switch it up and use another fabric so yeah that is it and I staple it down yeah that's it guys um, I'm so glad with this outcome yeah it's, it's not my best work but it is good and since since this is our first design for the skirt I'm gonna label it design 001 So guys, our second sketch is on this polka dot fabric, which is a bit light, but also very good quality. So um, my sketch is the same spaghetti top, but for the skirt, it's a pleated skirt. So I'm going to have to take the polka dot fabric for pleating. 
and I'm gonna buy a white fabric to match the polka dots on the material on the fabric to have a detailed waistline where I can tie a small or as thin what am I saying a slim belt onto the skirt so the skirt is just gonna be below the knees and since I'm not gonna show you the design process or the tailoring process the next video is gonna be all about the try on and the haul with a few clips of what my experience during the sewing and the cutting of the fabric and I do hope to see you on my next video and if you haven't subscribed Please hit the subscribe button and support a girl and see you love.